I'll tell you this quick story. I was in Sweden. So there was a girl, she had texted me, she said, hey, she had lost a place to go or something. So she said, can I come and sleep at your place? I never really met her, but we connected on, you know, social media. So I was like, okay. But, you know, she came and she, imagine she just slept on the couch. Me, I just, I didn't, you know. And then the next day she told me, she said, I, I've never met someone like you. You were, you, inv a man invites, you, you, you know, some men, maybe they can try and hit on her or something. You were watching football. I was thinking, is this man even interested? Does he even like, you know, she couldn't get, a, a, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think it's just like when you live a life with and passion. Gotta, and, and you got to have also self-control because yeah. some people could just set you up. You know, you could go in, they could come there, try something. By the time, you know, they're calling police, they're saying you raped them, you did. You got to be very, very have a self-control self because control. these women as women we can mm. be evil it's true you yes. know she could have come because she yes. came by herself yeah. right i yeah. had another friend at the crib to a black man yeah. in australia imagine. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. imagine imagine mom there was a bed here i slept on i said he gave her a blanket i didn't i just slept you know yeah. as i said most men oh i got a girl in yeah. my crib yeah. they I didn't even so even for her it's like eh, yes. you know and then I'm gentle I'm a gentleman I'm coming I'm watching football I'm, I'm but you're right it's true mm, that's why so, most African men have been in trouble because of things like that because self-control they don't have it touch a woman and that is it your your, your career your reputation ruined done. down the drain you know I know a player in Sweden he was playing for Malmo that mm. was a yeah, club Malmo. near me big team yeah he had a contract, he signed there, he had done well, came from the lower leagues, caught a rape charge, I think the girl was 15 or something, and he was from Ghana, those things. See? Imagine. Because there's no lots of Deported. Hey, I got a question for you. Are you smart? Are you a visionary? Well, the fact that you are watching this podcast is a good thing. I got something to tell you. I know time is the most valuable asset, so I'm going to get straight to the point. Here at the Rubasha Family Podcast, we've been focused on consistent output, getting amazing and quality content out to the people who come and support. How can we add value to people's lives? Now, you could be a small business owner or entrepreneur who wants to be able to expand your visibility, get your product or service in front of as many people as possible. The day and age that we're in, social media, podcasts, the fact that they're growing so much on YouTube. YouTube is allocating more budget into the podcast section in media. Why can't you be smart? Why can't you get ahead of the competitors and put your advertisements, put your visibility, your brand in front of as many people as possible? You could actually be one of the ones who was really smart in order to take advantage of this opportunity and put your ads in one of our videos at our lower prices as they are now compared to what they will be as our audience continues to grow and expand as much as we're consistent. So if you're really interested in having an advertisement space or brand visibility at the Rabasha Family Podcast, Link is in the description, send us an email, and let's talk. Back to the video. Yeah. Prison and then deported, yeah. and you're playing for Malmo. Yeah. All that money you're earning, you bought property, the government. Imagine. Yeah, That's, that is why you have to have self-control. This even now, it doesn't matter whether you're six, 17, whether you're 18, now you're turning 27, Ian 30, Emmanuel 24, you have to be careful. Careful, careful. I watch it on the news every day here, this, especially the stairs. Went hotel, a uh, group of boys, girls come to the room, something goes, and that is it. That's it. If some things like that, it's better once they say they're calling a girl, walk away. Mm. Even it's better saying, guys, I'll be back, and you disappear. Hey, it's true, yeah. man. There's so many situations. Yeah. And that's why, to be honest, like, mom, I'm also happy I'm in a relationship because mm. I don't have to go, go through that. that. I don't have to go. No, you, a woman can't. No, but people who are in trouble today are people who have wives. Forget about girlfriend. They're in a hotel, they're playing so, uh, food, yeah, that's food this, rugby, whatever. That's true. They go away for the game, game away. They go in a hotel somewhere, mm. like maybe Newcastle. They're having a drink. They go back to the hotel. These are people with wives. They don't have girl wives. They go to a hotel. A girl comes from nowhere. They're in the hotel room. Things go wrong. Police, people are charged. It's on the news every day. Imagine. That's what I'm saying. If it's a group like that, you know, oh, there's a girl coming. And some girls follow these players because they follow them on social media. Or oh, they'll be at Newcastle. They'll be here. So they keep following they them. They follow them, And then yeah. they DM them. They direct message them. Oh, I, you guys are here. Uh, we can come in for a drink. And then the, that's where the problem is. So your friends say, oh, there's this girl coming. That is the time you say. Come out. Yeah, you don't have to tell them I'm out. You just say, oh, guys, 
Let me go and grab something. I'm coming. Because when you say I'm out, they say, oh, it's going to yeah. be the snitch. Blah, blah, blah. Just say, I'm out, I'll be back. And that's why you go and sleep in your room. Facts. And lock the door. Don't do it, man. It's, it's